Well, goodbye, fish packaging plant. We are officially done here. We fueled up our truck, charged up the battery by driving in circles. Got a got a decent amount of sardines. So, you know, you've served us well. You've served us well. Now we're going to get the hell out of here. And I think what we're going to do is travel along the rest of this road right here. There's a POI over here and one over here. I think there's a bunker over in this area too, but I don't have a gun yet. So I don't really want to go go to the bunker yet. So I'm going to I'm going to drive down these roads, check out these POIs, see what we find, and then uh if I don't find a gun, probably drive back around and start uh, traveling along the bottom of the map to these other POIs because we need to find a, pl a place, a place for our uh, our base. So that's the new goal. Well, that's been the goal this whole time, but that's the continued goal. What is this random destroyed place? I was hoping I'd come over here and find a gun just resting resting on the side. I guess not. Well, look what we got here. Looks like some kind of orchard slash farm. And I see some melons. Hello. Dude, watermelons? I love watermelons. Get us some carbs and some nutrients. We're only going to take a couple because, I mean, obviously they'll rot in the truck, you know, if they sit too long. What are these? Apples, dude? So it's an apple orchard? That's pretty dope, actually. That is pretty dope. I like this. I like this little area. Oh, we got some Granny Smiths. All right, I'm going to grab a few, a few more items, a few more food items. I think I see some buildings just ahead up there, and this is... The intersection so we're gonna go up this way and go to this bigger looking POI there all right sweet so we found some melons apples olives and some cherries very nice very nice now this is our crate for food hopefully we don't forget that these are in there and they don't all go bad because that would be a terrible thing terrible waste but I think that's gonna help us out right now we're finally not uh, completely starving Oh, look at that. We got a nice axe. Hell yeah. We need that because we need uh, all the tools we can that we can find uh, to chop down. Oh, another backpack too. All the tools we can find to chop down wood for our, our base. I want to find a damn chainsaw, but I've, I've not found one. I've never seen one yet. I'm hoping we can find one some point soon. I know there's like shops and stuff around that, uh, let's see, we're hungry again, it says. I know there's like shops, like workshops and garages that supposedly have them, I don't know. I want to come across one because that's, uh, you know, that'd make the process of building our base so much faster. Well, I guess I had to go to the bathroom. I didn't even do that. That's so terrible. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sometimes it's just an emergency, you know? Oh, we got a soda. Look, we got a gas canister. Interesting. I don't even think we have room for it, but we're going to grab it. We're almost there. We're almost to this next POI. Kind of curious to see what it is. It's, it's either going to be another dock because it's just along the the coast. Okay, we got a little village here, sir. Ah. Oh no! Start, you piece of shit. Got him. There was one more. Where'd he go?
I'm just trying to get practice with this damn bow. I am very bad with it. Seems like a nice little village. Got a cool little dock over here. Next to the water is always nice. Take a little tour of this little uh, city here. I'm just going to start looting a little bit and uh, probably pull the truck in a little bit more when I know it's a little bit safer. The problem with the truck is pulling in, waking everybody up. Well, we got a new uh, compound bow site here. Emergency bandage. Look at that. Very nice. Some new military boots. Nah. Why are all the military boots pink, by the way? I still don't understand that. What kind of military is this? So we're just in this first apartment building, just looting real quick. Just getting what we can. Kind of clearing it out. Obviously still just picking up food and stuff like that, but... You know, you never know when you'll get lucky and find some kind of firearm. It's always when you least expect to. Let's see what this place is now. Looks like just more apartments, probably. Somebody just woke up. Oh, there you are. <coughs> hey, look, a boat. Can we use that? I guess not. Not yet, anyways. I think in the next update, I think in point five, boats and fishing and oh crap, I didn't want to do that. How do I, how the hell do I get out of here? I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm stuck. What the hell? I'm stuck in the ground. I can't go up, guys. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what the hell is happening. I, I'm stuck. Is this really how I'm gonna die? I don't see a way out. I don't see a how. To I don't know what's happening, man. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Come on, find somewhere to walk out, please. Dude, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Wow. That's how I died. That is so frustrating. Well, that's the, there's the first death, guys. And I gotta run all the way back to where I was. Which is a, that's a pretty decent distance away, actually. I guess I should probably craft some kind of melee weapon. Alright, I got a club. I like the club because it's faster. I'll probably pick up a spear, too. There's actually an airdrop really close by. But I have no vehicle and no, uh, really no storage, no backpack or anything. And I gotta go all the way across over there. And I think I might have just... Screwed up. I might have just screwed myself over. On the swimming thing. But I swear I was hitting like every button. And I couldn't swim up. It was like I was glitched into the ground. We're not gonna count that one, okay? Let's just all pretend that didn't happen. Does that sound good with you guys? Hope that's fine. Hope that's fine. I think that's... You know... It's going to happen in some of these games. Alright, we can see we died right over there. So not too, too far. We were able to use our fame points and, and spawn in this sector. Should be back over there momentarily. Man, that's I'm so bummed. We were doing great. Didn't even die to an enemy. You're supposed to be able to dive up with spacebar, and for some reason I couldn't. It wouldn't uh, do it for me. I really wish these boats worked. See, now it works. Now I can go up. I think I was, like, stuck in the ground over there. But that's good that it works, because I need to get my inventory. There we are. I glitched into the ground again? Are you serious? Just get over here to the shallow ground, please. There we go. Maybe. Look at that! I'm like, I'm glitched. Okay, there we go. There we go. For some reason, when you get too close, I don't know, that, that spot right there. Jeez. Well, avoid water. That's my two cents. Let's avoid that. 
Let's check, make sure our freaking vehicle's still over here. Yeah, we're good. Airdrop's still over there. It wouldn't hurt to maybe go check it out. Could always use some stuff. You know what I mean? But it's been there for a minute, so we gotta be careful. I'm not gonna park too close to it. There we go. Alright. Very nice. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Okay. So we got a shotgun. Not mad at that. That's one more gun than we had. Six shots. That's dope. Okay. Okay. I'm not mad at that. I almost kind of want to test it. Let's actually lock up, like, put our inventory away first. Oh, no, he saw us. How'd you see us from so far away, dude? Very nice. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like that, dude. Hell yeah. Now, hopefully we didn't wake anybody up in the neighborhood. Gotta put all this food away real quick. Alright, hopefully we're not too close to that damn airdrop. Because I think it's about to blow up. We're gonna make sure we're not too close because I don't want to lose this car. All right, there we go. Yeah, we were good. We were good, so that's what happens if you're too close. All right, we got some more looting to do in this little village over here. Dude, you know what I just realized? I just dropped, I dropped my shotgun because I had it in my damn hand. What the hell's wrong with me? What the frick is going on, man? There we go. There it is. Oh, look at that. We did find another hiking backpack. And I kind of want to grab it. But I think I'm going to go see if I can put this one down in the car first and then come back and grab it. Really not much else, though. Nothing great. I don't know if I want to go through everything. Because I kind of want to get to get a move on, you know what I mean? Like, I have such a limited time to go through everything and play. There's always time to loot, you know what I mean? We got a vehicle. We can always come back. Lighter, very nice. Oh, look at this. A drill? We got a drill. I wonder if that's going to help us with construction at all. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. We're finding some decent stuff. Alright, I think it's time to get a move on. I got that hiking backpack. That's all that, uh, you know, that was that was worthwhile, I think. That drill. I gotta do some more organization with my inventory and the truck, but... Man, we're, get, we're reaching the limits of space, and I think before we lose everything, it'd be a good idea to, like, start scoping out somewhere to, to set up. But I still want to explore, but you know what? That's the thing is, if we keep exploring, we're gonna continue having to, like sacrifice things we find because we're running out of room. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll drive along the coast. I don't know where there might be a gas station besides that one we uh, we were at earlier at that fish packaging place. So maybe some somewhere near there? Which I guess the, the reasoning for setting up somewhere near a gas station is because it'll respawn gas at some point. So I think we'll come back down this way later on. I think there's a bunker down there. So we'll have to plan plan that out. I want to find some bunkers. I want to try to do one for the first time ever. All I've got is the shotgun and the bow, so I mean, I don't know if that'll get me through. Might need to maybe craft, like, a, a new melee weapon. Is that that tractor we, like, <laughs> we had last time? In the last video? I think it is. Oh, old friend. Oh, we're going uh, way too too far. Hold on. Make a U-turn and take a right up here somewhere. Got a little ranch here we can check out. Watchtower over there. No, like the the watchtowers sometimes have uh, rifles in them, so might be worthwhile to check out. Going here real quick. I don't know why this dude's following us. But whatever. 
Damn, no rifle. Nothing. That's a bummer. Man, look at that scenery. Oh, we got a cargo drop right behind us. Might as well get it, right? Hey, there it is. That's kind of lucky, actually. I keep wondering if it's, like, cheating for me to keep getting all these, but at the same time, I mean, dude, they're right here, you know? Alright, let's hit this one. Oh. It's not locked, actually. That's a... Where's the locked one? Huh, none of these are locked. Interesting. So no weapons in this one, I guess? Oh, it's like clothing. We'll definitely take these arrows. We don't really want the the, the Kodiak because we got this freaking compound bow. It's way better. Bow silencer, actually. That's kind of cool. I'll take those. That's So it's like a Robin Hood kit. But we got a couple sets of arrows. That's kind of nice. I think I'm going to grab some of these boxes of bolts and uh, screws because I think I might need them for the constructing of the base. Alright, that's good enough. So no weapons. Did get some arrows though, so that's that's helpful. So looks like we got a bit of a city here. Of some sort or something. What the hell is this? This is gonna be an interesting spot. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back to that for sure. I've never seen that area. I just want to drive down to the, to the end of this road and see if there's a spot we can scope out because at the end of this road it'll be along the coast, kind of away from any major POIs I think. The only downside is I don't think there's going to be any gas stations out here, but we have a couple gas cans so I mean maybe we just keep those on us and anytime we come across fuel we just fill her up, you know? See, because like imagine like this a spot like this where you have like some scenery you know what I mean it's not on the water but you still get like this really good view I don't mind that you know imagine waking up to that every morning there's so much land to explore I don't want to settle down too fast but at the same time I mean it's not like we have to live there for the entire time all right well this place is pretty cool I like it I like it Nice change of pace and change of scenery than the freaking the damn uh, villages we see. All the villages tend to be really, really similar to each other, so. I kind of ran through here. I did find a pistol, actually. A 1911. I think we might actually... I'm going to look in the truck here in a minute and see. We might actually have a, uh, a clip for that already. All right, I don't know what this place is. Some kind of factory or packaging place or something. Not too sure. There's there, some little, uh, you know, there's there's a little bit of stuff. I mean, we found a few things. So we got a pistol. I think we got like a couple clips that I don't even know if we can use. Not for this gun, at least. But we'll we'll hold on to them in case we do find one. Uh, we, oh yeah, there was some there was some military crates over here, which I was kind of shocked, kind of surprised. Oh yeah, and this truck, obviously. I'm going to see. I don't know if we can do anything with the truck and siphon the gas or something, if there's any in it, but we'll try. We had these military crates and a little bit of military cargo over there. We got some flare cartridges and barbed wire. So that's that's cool. That's cool, man. But I think we pretty much cleared this little area out. I guess maybe we can go across the street. There's like a little kind of ranch or farm or something over there. Check out this truck. So we got, I mean, we're not going to switch because this one needs some repairs and whatnot. It does have a little bit of fuel. But I think my good can is already full. Let's take a look. Yeah, that one's full. This one, it's damaged, but we can maybe still get the gas from it. Yeah, drain full fuel. So we can actually siphon. We don't even need, need the hose. That's kind of nice. Look 
at that. How much did that give us? 29 out of 40? Hell yeah. Alright, I guess we'll drive across the street, kind of take a quick look over there, and be on our way. Actually, you know, I'm not going to worry about the cross the street thing. It's just, uh, it's pretty typical buildings and stuff. We might come back through here because, I mean, this is going to be the road I think we might be uh, building on. Actually, we could climb up there, dude. I wonder if there's anything on the the billboard. Maybe we got get lucky and there's like a freaking rifle up here or something. I doubt it. I don't see anything. But I don't know. I've never climbed up on one of these. So I don't know if you can actually find loot. Oh, this is cool. What is that? Rags? So you can actually climb up. There's different levels. A bow stabilizer? Okay. Got a little village. We're just going to drive through right now. We're kind of just scoping out the scene, seeing what... Uh, Seeing what's around. Oh, look at that across. That's awesome, dude. Oh, shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Scoping out the scene, kind of seeing uh, what all is around. Because I think we're getting close to finding a spot. But I want to get it on the main road. Kind of drive along this, this road here and see if we can come uh, across. Oh, no, this is the wrong way. See if we can come across a gas station and then maybe close by near the water and near a gas station building our cabin and we're not going to build it this episode because it's you know we're coming to the, the conclusion the end but i think next episode we can start and look what we found perfect oh that's a c4 guy oh no i didn't realize it till the last second oh my god we got another one chasing us. Our car's health is still good, though. That's that's a, that's good. We are hurt. We are very injured, but... Jeez, our car didn't take really any damage. That's interesting. Make sure that guy doesn't... Dude, I swear, like, last second I kind of thought that might be a C4 guy. And I was right. Alright, move. Don't, 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 don't. No. Oh, my God. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm so hurt. Fuck. 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 Oh my god, hit him! Jesus, I'm, I'm literally about to die. Oh god. Patch your wounds. Patch your freaking wounds, man. Please don't let another one come out of freaking nowhere. Oh my god. I've never been this injured. I didn't realize I would move so slow. I shouldn't have got out. I should not have gotten out. Okay, we got a freaking... Luckily, we got some, uh, some painkillers and things like that. Let's see what our injuries are looking like. Hyperthermia, starvation, and physical injury phase 3 is treated, supposedly. I think we have medicine on us. Yeah, painkillers right here. Let's take some. Alright, that should help our speed, I think. Alright, well shit, we got a gas station, that's good. Right next to this little uh, bridge right here. So where are we at? See, so I'm thinking of getting off the road somewhere around this area down here. So let's go see if there's like a decent spot. I kind of want to be, I still want to be next to the water. Now we know we got a gas station right there, so that's perfect. Got a few big POIs in the area. See, that's my only worry is if it's going to be too, like, rocky and crappy. I know it's, like, black and white right now. It's because I'm still very injured. But that's fine. We're just going to try to find a spot to to post up and prepare for the next episode where we start to build. See, so we're high up. There's not even a way to get off the road, it looks like. Alright, I like this area. Got kind of a beach vibe. We got the water here. God, I'm still super hurt. Alright, I got hyperthermia, so I'm actually very hot. 
for some reason it's staying that way. So I'm going to put uh, some clothing away, I guess. See if that helps us out a little bit. If I get in the water, it might help. So yeah, my temperature's coming down now. We might be okay. All right, yes. I think this is the location. So straight back that way, there's the gas station. We'll use the bridge as the landmark, actually, because we just went right off the bridge. Straight this way. Very secluded, very, very quiet. Lots of trees, so that'll be nice. And we'll have ourselves a little beachfront property. It'll be very, very lovely. Now, I'm going to take some time to hill and rest. I appreciate you guys. Everybody being here. Everybody new, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you check out the Discord if you'd like to uh, jump into actually, con like, you know, conversations and whatnot. Uh, you know, maybe future servers and things like that. And, um, yeah, I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for joining us. And, I, uh, you know, obviously all the, all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, all that stuff. But thank you so much. I will see you on the next video.